This short film will explore the skill acquisition of the sprint, shot put and long jump. Beginning the sprint in the crouch start, the hand should be shoulder width apart and the rear knee should be opposite the front foot. The participant will then raise their hips above shoulder height whilst the shoulders move forward over the hand. The starter begins the race. The participant will drive hard off the blocks, pushing their head and shoulders out. Once the sprint has commenced, students must maintain an erect position and ensure arm and leg movement should be synchronised. Along with this, students' knees should reach hip height and ensure their shoulders are not rotating throughout the run. Now let's look at this technique in full speed. Moving on to the shot put, it is important that we have a side on staggered stance with the toe of the leading foot in line with the heel of the rear foot. The object must be held at the base of the middle three fingers with the wrist cocked. Lastly, regarding stance, the pushing arm needs to be in a high position with a high elbow. Now we are ready to throw the shot put. We must first rotate our hips then shoulders in the direction of the throw, starting from a low position and ending in a high position. This movement could be done a number of times in order to gain momentum in preparation for the final throw. With the chest facing the landing area, the pushing arm extends, releasing the object on a 45 degree angle to the ground. Now let's look at this technique in full speed. Examining the final skill of the long jump, the following is required in order for success. As previously examined, the beginning of the long jump requires a sprint start, approximately 13 to 17 strides back from the takeoff board. Upon approaching the takeoff board, the free thigh is driven upwards and forwards as the takeoff leg extends vigorously. Both arms are then vigorously thrown forward in an anti clockwise position to help maintain speed and momentum. Upon landing, the feet move ahead of the body as the heels then break the sand in order for a smooth, two footed landing, with the body continuing forward. Now let's look at this technique in full speed.